Hi, it's Melissa K, and I'm back with part four to my hair routine. Please give this video a like. That means that you click on the thumbs up button that's at the bottom of the video. I would greatly appreciate that. Okay, so, all right, so the last video, if you haven't seen part one through three, I recommend that you go watch that so you can see where I'm at in this process. Um, so basically my hair has been twisted and it's been set like this for the last two days. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and unravel and style it. And that's one. I'll go ahead and start in the back. I already started in the front, so you got a taste of it already. Because it's too late. I have flat twists in my hair right now. So I'm just unraveling. And... I usually try to get through this fast. But the key is when you unravel, not to mess up the, the twists because each, the two strand twist, so you wanna keep the two strands intact as much as possible. Um, sometimes I leave my bang, my flat twist a little bit there. I might do that this time. I'll just see how it looks once I take everything out. And I have 15 flat twists in, the, in my hair. So it should be fairly quick to take out. Sometimes this happens too when I'm taking out my hair, it just gets kind of it gets, doesn't always come out perfectly. This twist right here is kind of mixed up, so it might make it free. Go we'll to the next one and work on that one towards the end. for some reason, so I have to figure out what's going on with this one. Yep, it is tangled. So the key is not to really unravel your twist too much. You just wanna, just enough to loosen it. This I'm just trying to feel because I can't see real good on the top of my head. <laughs> so I gotta close my eyes and just feel how the twist is going up and how much I wanna unravel. Because like I said, sometimes I don't unravel them all the way. I think I got them all. This is the last one in the front. Kinda messed that one up. So now this one is coming out crazy. So
All right, so I'm not gonna mess with it too much because I want this to last. Sometimes when you, um, what I used to do is unravel them like, you know, in different, maybe like uh, each one would get one unravel. And I actually might do that only because this one is, you know, that one's a little different from that one. This one frizzed a little bit, so I think I'll just go ahead and unravel it and then it'll match it. So I'll unravel it one time. Each twist gets unraveled one time, like that. In the front, then it kind of matches and make it more full. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my comb, my big tooth comb, and I'm going to kind of just And this side, as you can see how it's falling, this side is like more in the front. Um, I'm trying to think if I want to leave my hair flat twisted on the top this time. I gotta look at the back. So let me get my mirror, guys. Came out. Yeah, and I'll just go ahead and take my flat twist all the way out at the, to the top so it'll look more, um, more full and uniform. See, sometimes I do this where I don't flat twist it. I'll just twist them single. I'll do like maybe 10 big single twists. I think that's how much they usually come out as. Maybe a little bit more. But when, they, when you do them single, they come out a little different. All right. I think I might leave it flat twisted at the root in the front though. All right, so what I usually do is when I do this style, I'll take this um, big tooth comb and kind of pick it. I don't comb through it, but I just kind of lift it up and pick it like that just to give it, um, it helps to give it a little bit more um, body and get the witness out of it. I'll leave my bang flat because that's prone to getting messed up for, um, first because of like me washing my face and sweating or whatever. So I'll try to leave that. Um, the back, I tend to do that too. So I'm gonna check to see what the back looks like again real quick. My messed up mirror. And I think I've got it where there's no spaces in the back, no part showing. I think there's a part showing. Anytime there's a part showing, it's usually because the twist is not completely unraveled or I haven't like, um, you know, fi fixed it properly. So there is a flat twist back here that's kind of still, Flatten, so let me go and unravel it. And then I'm gonna um, just take the comb and I'm just gonna kind of pick it out like that. Just pick it out a little bit and I'm gonna go back to it. I don't like spaces and gaps showing in my hair. So I really try to pick through it real good without really disturbing the twist. It looks pretty good actually. But then at the same time, there's like a method to this because if you pick it too much, it'll freeze your twist out. <laughs> All right, and then, you know, you'll have that poof going on. Okay, I think I got it now. The key is to not disturb your twists. You know what I mean? Because then your twist it won't last as long, and then you'll be having to retwist all throughout the week. And I don't always want to have to retwist my hair, so a little bit of spacing up here. Let me get back up here. All 
exercise and I'm looking in the mirror while I'm doing this. Alright. So we're gonna be the old school bang girl, right? Today I'm gonna go ahead and leave the bang. I'm just trying to give my hair some shape, that's all. And a lot of times the hair will look kind of shapeless at first because it's like just freshly like unraveled out of the twist. But like as the days go on, it'll get a little bit more body. And so I'm probably just going to leave it like this. I'm going to leave my bang parted. Because um, I don't want to mess too much with the twist. And as time goes on, I'll probably unravel the flat twist a little bit more in the front. So I think I'm gonna leave it like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the shine and get and kind of like mold my edges a little bit. My daughter always say, Ma, you don't know how to slay your edges right. <laughs> I'm like, girl, they've been doing that shit since the 80s. I don't really care to slay edges like that because my edges are my edges, right? My edges are kinky and, and dry, and I mean, I accept that. But you know, for a new style, I will try to lay them down a little bit, right? Okay, I am who I am. All right, so, all right, so now I'm trying to get it, like, just kind of mold shape it to see how I want it to fall, right? So I think I'm gonna just do this number right here. I feel like I should be pushing that back. And then this, I feel like this should stay in the front. There we go. Which I think is pretty decent, right? Yeah. See the edges? I don't have a rat tail comb. I don't have the correct comb to be slaying the edges. So I'm just finger, which I guess we used to call it finger waving, <laughs> or trying to finger wave. And then I'm not really gonna put anything on this side because this side is covered, but I guess I can slay it a little bit more. I slay it, oh my word. Using her terminology, mold it down a little bit. Like that. And I'm all done, guys. So this is gonna be my style for the next few days. We'll see how it goes. Um, it can last for a week or two, but I'm kind of rough because I work out a lot. And then I wash my face and da 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 da. And I may have to retwist it before two weeks, but we'll see how it goes. Because I don't like to retwist my hair all the time because I don't have time. But when I do retwist it, I do it, I do a kind of a different method, but I use the same product. So, all right, so that is it. All right, let me do the 360. Let me go ahead and spray. I have this olive oil ORS and I'm just going to spray my hair, give it some sheen and a little bit of body. guys so I'm all done and I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all the 360 turnaround so you can see the back all right so and voila I'm all done so thanks for watching part four to my natural hair routine I will see you on the next video it probably won't be a part five to this um I'll start a new series. I'll just show you guys how I go about like touching up my hair and what I do with it, like in between my hair washes, all right? So don't forget to like this video and I'll see you on the next one.